More and more farms in Florida are becoming tourist attractions. There's lots to see on farms and ranches. It's called agritourism, and it's helping farmers boost their incomes and actually hold on to their land. It can be anything from a winery to a corn maze to a cattle ranch. Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers discovers how one family found a new business in their old barn. It's a busy time for blueberries and cows. One of our cows uh, is getting ready to have her first calf. But it's not the cows or horses that are unusual at Michelle and Blake's farm. It's the barn. Look inside. Chandeliers, starry lights. We do a lot of repurposing. We, we use mason jars and things you would find on a farm, burlap. Um, we make hay bale couches. They call it Wishing Well Barn. They have wedding. In fact, several hundred couples have been married here, surrounded by the farm, like Jill and Garrett Lombardi. We couldn't ask for a, a more beautiful wedding. This whole nature and the farm and everything is just kind of like home to me. The wedding party and guests get the run of the place for a sort of mini course in farming. I think people have more of a appreciation of their food when they know where it comes from. And where the Wishing Well barn came from was necessity. This is the very same barn in 1962. That's Blake's dad on the tractor. Well, years later, he had a stroke, and they wanted to care for him at home. But at the time, Blake traveled for work. They were in a pinch. We really needed somebody to take care of Papa, who was strong enough to pick him up. And so we needed to find a way to keep Blake home. That's when Michelle said, we're going to fix up the barn. <laughs> he told me I was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was just as ordinary as could be with dirt floors. But then it began, first with their son's wedding. The reaction was just amazing. Their friends started asking if they could have their wedding here. But a wedding barn? There was government red tape. Our next would be Michelle Welch. But Michelle fought all the way to Tallahassee. One of the planners uh, in Hillsborough County said that if the state does not recognize specifically weddings or events in the law, then we won't either. She convinced the lawmakers who said Wishing Well Barn is agritourism, and it is spreading across more farms. Agritourism allows farm families to make their land more profitable, and so that will help us maintain the farmland that we have. We need to do that. Behind us is uh, 60 acres that we're able to maybe buy one day and keep our land. And expand the herd. Blake and Michelle have five boys, two coming home from the military, who want to join them on the farm. And at the barn, many more brides and grooms will join them too. We have them come back and have baby showers, <laughs> family reunions, you know. So we, we really are extending our family by having these events. On a farm that became an attraction when they decided to fix up the old barn. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. I just love that. It's really beautiful, isn't it? You know, it's really important, too, because there are so many farms today that, you know, they get rid of their land because they can't afford to keep it with the taxes that rise all the time on it and stuff. It makes so sense. what a great way to be able to keep the land and the family and keep things going. You know, it's a great idea. By the way, if you'd like to see some more of the pictures from the Wishing Well Barn, also some other locations, we put the links on fox13news.com.